Well, today we're at uh, Swanet Reserve, which is next to the National Air Traffic Control Centre. We've been doing dead hedging and clearing up the willow that's been encroaching onto the North Meadow field. We've been doing this because the willow's been falling over, resting on the ground, and that means that the roots have started coming out of the willow and rooting up. So we've cut it all back, we're dead hedging on the edge of the woodland, and we're doing a fine job, I think. It's a good skilled sort of task. We're learning new skills like use of axes because we're making some stakes today. We're using tools, so bow saws and loppers, so we need to use them safely. We've got health and safety, so we're learning there as well. well we're cutting down some of the bits that have been chainsawed earlier in the year and we're building a dead fence, which is just bits of old wood, sticks and branches to create a wall around the forest. A lot of good places for insects to be, which again attracts wildlife, birds, lizards. Pretty much just starts off the food chain. We've been doing a dead hedging today and to keep it held in place, we're going to make some stakes. So we've copied some hazel from around in the, the woodland here. And all we're doing is just putting a little point on the end so it drives into the ground easily. Just like that. One of the things about making a dead hedge rather than any other sort of hedge or fence is we're using materials that are left over from the cutting down of the trees. It's good for the environment, it'll rot down, we'll get habitat. Volunteers have done very well again. What about those, um, there's one you find attached to a tree. Well, that's about it from uh, Swanwick today. I really can't stress how important it is that people come and volunteer for us. You know, we are a charity, we are limited with the amount of resources we have, and having volunteers come out and help us with our work means that we can get so much more done. So thank you very much to all the volunteers.